Hey guys, Zoblard here, back in with another review, and today we are having a look at the Marvel Legends X-Men Wave Havoc. This guy is actually not a piece of shit. Um, the last one we looked at was, so... Uh -huh. Move him out of the way. Look at his box now. I like the art on this one. I wish that was the head he had, but... Whatever. Solar, Sonar, whatever the hell. Marvel's Havoc, X-Men, Legend Series, X, Juggernaut. Picture of on the back that actually doesn't look too bad. Juggernaut himself, the rest of the wave. Rogue's next. And then, the bio. Pause and read that whenever you want. So Havoc here, he comes with a couple of accessories, which are blatantly obvious. He's got these big old blue things. Now, I've seen people put these on Iceman, but I'm like, how do you even put these on him? They're so loosey-goosey. So, aside from being loosey-goosey, they are nice. So, that being said, yeah. Now he is Bucky Cat body, so articulation is going to be pretty basic. Um, I'm just going to run through it quick. He's got a swivel in the head, hinges up and down, no tilt, no other things. He's got an ab crunch, he's got a waist swivel, hinge up, down, rotates 360, bicep swivel. And then a double jointed elbow. Did I say swivel in the elbow or bicep? I don't remember. Or elbow up there. I don't know. He's got a swivel in the glove with a hinge. Now, I'm not sure if these are the same glove cuffs as Rogue. I know they ought to be the same as Nick Fury, but Rogue, I'm not too sure. Now, his hips move out that far. And they move forward. Back, not so much. Thigh cut. Double joint the knee, uh, swivel at the boot, and hinge in the foot with a rocker. So, that is pretty nice. Um, I don't think he's a bad figure. Now, is he basic as all shit? Yes, but he's not a bad basic as all shit figure. I mean, we've gotten Iceman and Phoenix. They're pretty bland too, and they are shit. So, this guy's going to get an 8 just because he's kind of meh and could have been better. But, you know, he's better than Phoenix. Phoenix got an 8 because it's Phoenix. and It's a character I actually wanted. But this guy was a little bit of a surprise. So, here he is next to Rogue. And there you go. They're about the same height. So that being said, uh, Havoc is not too bad. Um, he's getting an 8, which is a decent score for him, especially since he is probably the worst peg warmer of the year being that everyone gets like 16 of him and like one of everyone else 
Well, 16 of him, 14 Iceman, and then 12 Kitty Prides. That seems to be who the Peg Warmers are, although Kitty Pride really isn't that bad. You should probably check her out. <laughs> the Havoc here, I'm going to give an 8. As I said before. And yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and until next time, catch you guys later.